and it was very tasty and it's cheap so when you come here in Co, you have to try the yellow door cafe the town of cove formerly known as queenstown ascends from the sea and splendidly dominates cork harbor it is the second largest natural harbors in the world the historical area has experienced invasion, emigration, transportation, and offers a wealth of maritime heritage. We have finally arrived to our accommodation. It's called Knock Even House. We don't usually stay in a luxurious, a luxurious, lux, luxurious accommodation, but most of the places were already booked. So. We're just gonna enjoy it. Let's go! <laughs> The Knock Even House offers visitors a unique and luxurious 19th century country house bed and breakfast experience in the heart of historical cove. Learn about the story of Irish emigration in its various forms to many destinations, trace your ancestors, hear about the ill-fated Titanic and the Lusitania, and immerse yourself in Irish naval and military history at Cove Heritage Centre. We are now inside the Heritage Centre and they've given me this ticket. I'm from the MacArthur family and I took the Dresden in 1889 and Chano is Edward Colley. He's taking the Titanic in 1912. And let's see if he's gonna survive or die. I find not Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> what happened to your family, my love? 
after reaching Argentina, we were so poor and then we worked so hard and I had a son Then after that, I died I don't want to be a son Hi! We are now going to Titanic Experience Co. Come on! Cove was the last port of call of the famous Titanic that sank in the year 1912. Port of Cork handles some of the largest liners in the world at their cruise berth in Cove, Ireland's only dedicated cruise berth. We spent our afternoon watching the sunset with this beautiful view.